welcome back to Stephanie Plans and Reads. Uh, today I am doing my very first plan with me in my new planner for 2024. In case you haven't um, been on the channel and seen this, I have shown um, me kind of setting up the cover. I'm using the Sterling Ink Common Planner the A5 <clears throat> version. The reason why I changed from this to from the Hobonichi Cousin, which is right there, is simply because this, there were a couple of things in this planner that I preferred over the Cousin. So I like the fact that there um, is no additional color. There's not any red or grayed out sections. They also, um, the back pages are not a day per page. There's enough for a day per page, but they are not dated. So you can use as little or as many um, that you need for your daily pages. And there are no quotes. So I thought I'd go with this um, uh, planner for this year. Now I have, um, just put that aside. I have done a few things on the inside, so I'll just show you what I've done. So I have these um, like washi stickers. They're um, from Amazon. Um, I'll link them if I can find a link. Um, and they are just really thin. I can see that. Really thin. Um, date stickers. So I'm going to use them in the back when I'm doing my dailies. So I've just put in January's dates and they're two different kind of styles, but I'm not sure when I'll use what. So I'll put them in there. And then I have this little, the Hobonichi um, pocket. Um, I made a mistake and I put it this way. I thought it would be better and it's much worse. So I had to use a little, um, washi tape here I I tried taking it off but it did kind of not want to come off cleanly so I just left it but inside the the little pocket I have a sterling ink um, like washi cutting card and then I have some birthday just washi birthday washi stickers and then I have these um, very uh, thin, transparent um, dot stickers, um, which I thought um, I might code the stuff in my dailies in kind of a common, um, common book way. So commonplace book, sorry. So if... Um, I have, I think, five of the same, you know, sheets. And so I might say dark green is going to be all like book reviews or, um, you know, podcast notes or things like that. So I've got these things in the front pocket. And like I said, I've messed that from pocket up severely. So, um, yeah, I might I might be redoing this if I can in some way. So I haven't really put anything on this page. Um, this will be a page for. Um, maybe I should bring it down a little bit. Um, this page is going to be for um, like holidays and days when I am at work or not at work or things like that. But I have nothing to put in there at the moment. This is. Oh, Sorry, I went two pages in. Then we have this kind of blank spread, and I'm going to use this for the index. So if there are things like, for example, um, you know, income tax notes that I've made, I can put the date here and then write, I mean, not date, the page that I've written it on, and then write what it is. And then I just use these um, Coffee Monsters Co. Um, this is like sometimes about something about reading or books, books and reading. I don't know. 
but I put that at the top. Um, this is my um, goals, and I'm going to talk about this in a different video, so I'm just going to go through that, and then I'll have to um, do this part as well. So, it is um, I, January, so I've also decorated the months, so I put in the date stickers. These are from... These date stickers or holiday stickers are from uh, Daisy Papers. Really clean, I'm going to say basic, but I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, transparent stickers for your holidays. So I just put that. This is um, date uh, months from Let's Planet. And then I have some... Uh, pet tape stickers here to just make like a little collage at the bottom and it says always on my mind um, I don't have anything that I need to write in here at the moment I, I will though and so I just did that with the rest of the months I just put in the month and then the, the holidays um, that I know correspond and I did also put in birthday um icons for when I have loved ones birthdays that I know ahead of time so let's get to the plan with me so we are planning the week of the first it's it's the brand new week um so I see a lot of planners this style planner specifically uh con planner with a very kind of journal-y kind of vibe and or even just pen and highlighter and you know pet tape kind of individual stickers maybe at the top and a kind of different vibe than what I've done let's say this because <laughs> this is obviously much more kind of decorative and colorful and heavily heavily decorated um and that I, I did go back and forth on but whether or not I wanted to keep this all, like if I wanted to continue doing the heavily decorated at times, or if I wanted to do it all kind of the pet tape, the real kind of muted um, journalist kind of collage type um, styles. And it, really, it turns out that I would like to do both. I really like the, using the stickers and I really love the kind of pet tape uh, journalist kind of, or journalist um collage type so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this um off with a kit this is the <clears throat> and this is a bit of a trial and error for me too because I'm not exactly sure this being the first one I'm not exactly sure how to set it up but we're gonna we're gonna go with it so this is um a planner kate kit for the Hobonichi cousin so it should fit in this uh, planner and that is five five six and it's a winter kit um, and it's winter so I thought I'd go with that I also got the extra the large scripts which I'm always a fan of large scripts and because I just like the color palette so much I also got the um, is this like the decor sampler um and i've already used some for my days in the hobonichi cousin so that's why there's some stickers missing but i just have that out in case all right so let us begin um with the dates and as luck would have it this is the first um this is the first on a Monday, so it's perfect. So how was everyone's Christmas? Well, this video will come up on, will be up on Sunday, which will be um, New Year's Eve. So um, everybody probably has already had their Christmases. So yeah, how was, how was your Christmas? Did you enjoy time with friends and family? Did you enjoy time alone? 
Did you find it difficult? I know lots of people find this time of year really hard. Um, I don't find it hard as a general rule, but I did find I do find the um, lack of a routine is something that I don't love. I I like getting back into routine and getting back to normal, um, whatever normal is. And, um, yeah, my Christmas was great. Um, I did get, um, how do we do this now? Like that, maybe? I did get, uh, an amazing present. Um, I received... And I think I've posted it on the community, you know, tab thing. Um, but I got a kitten for Christmas. He is um, 11 weeks old, well, 12 weeks old now. And he is a Siamese tabby cross. And he's also got uh, extra toes. He's a polydactyl so he's got six toes on the front paws and five toes five toes on the back um his name is zeus and he's a little ginger pale ginger um love um he was very skittish though so we got him on um, thursday before christmas and um, he made the big purr and was, it was happy enough, but very skittish. So every movement, every kind of noise, um, wasn't really into, you know, playing with us or anything. Well, playing, yes, but not cuddling and could run away and stuff at, in the house and hide. And we were getting a bit, I have to say we were getting a bit sad um but he has definitely um turned a corner but he also has completely taken over our you know christmas holiday so that's why i did not have a video up for you um on tuesday um i've just been dealing with the um the cat okay so in the Hobonichi cousin there's a little thing that says the week of and I suppose I could cover that with the week of sticker and still have the, the week so I think I'm gonna do that um as I say this is a bit of trial and error because um there's Okay, so that is really close to the edge. Really close to the edge, but. Okay, <clears throat> what else do I have in the sidebar? I like to have the nails down at the bottom. So another thing is we have these big washi and normally I hadn't put anything Is that going to go across the hole? Guys, let me put that there. For, let's do this bottom washi on this side first. It's just a little crooked, but hey -oh. And then, do we want it to go all the way across? I don't think so. I think I only want it to go... from here. Right? And then like that. Um, yeah, so I, I, I apologize for not having a video up. It was just very, I don't want to say stressful because it was happy, but it was just, he, he required 
some work, some dedicated work. And um, he uh, is now, we got him a big, a really big cat tower, like really big. It's, I think it's, it's taller than me and I'm six feet. Um, and he loves it. He's been playing all over it. He's totally into it. Um, and I'm really happy. Uh, he really likes it. And that's, uh, that's, I wanted to get him something that he really enjoys and he loves it. So that's great. Okay. So I put down the bottom washing in here. If you'll remember from my um, this Honichi cousin. I used to put my reading down there, but my reading is going in this um, in the new year, so I don't need to do that. So I used that space to put the thick washi this week. I'm not sure that I'm going to stick with that. Um, that's going to really bulk up um, the planner, and I can find things to write. Um, there's lots of things. So this is just, you know, for this for this week. Then I put the, um, where I put meals down here. So I'll put that there. And then I need some habit trackers. So I will use these three here. Uh, <coughs> in the, in the year 2024, I'm going to be thinking about new habits or new things I'd like to track. Um, this planner has in its goal section quite a, a thing that I could use as a tracker and I probably will use them and this will be, um, you know, not needed or extra um but because this is my first um time in this planner i just want to kind of set it up the way i would normally and get a feel for what i like and what i don't like before i start making craziness um and then at the top i do like to have it this week and i will usually put maybe one or two or three things that i want to accomplish in the week but that i don't have an actual day so and there is a this week sticker on in planner kate's things and I'll just put it like that a little, a little above the things and then she, I love these things so much these uh, check boxes absolutely love them and I'll just put the little one she's got longer ones on the other page but I'll just put the little one because like I said I only usually put a little bit of things there so that's my shell now I just, I'm gonna, I'm looking kind of, I'm referencing my Hobonichi cousin just so that I can kind of put what I need to put in. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, we need to put in uh, training. So I'm going to use the pink ones because the green ones will be right against the green and that's a bit, a bit much. since we do that in the morning I'm gonna put it in the morning I don't always adhere to the times on these I never did in the Hobonichi cousin either except for I do tend to put them in the area so if they're in the morning I put them in here if they're in the afternoon I put them in here if they're in the evening down here kind of thing um, we also have on the fourth or on Thursdays we have garbage and I would use the green for that one and I'll put it 
down here. And I think there's, garbage. there is. Then on Sunday, I'm going to put that like kind of like that. And then I have laundry. I do laundry on Sunday on the weekends because it's cheaper with our gas rates. They're not gas rates, hydro rates, so they're cheaper. I also changed my pill tray, so I'll just put a little thing like that to remind me. And we probably will do some cleaning. So I will use this sticker, which says clean house, but, and this. I'll put it like that. No, I'm just winging it. And then there is a weekend that comes in the kit. A weekend banner kind of sticker. It comes with the kit. There it is. I'm going to use the other one that comes in the large scripts. I just like it better. I'm going to put it up at the top this time. And what else do I need to put in? Trash training. I think there's a little sneaker there for that. And that's it. On the first, I will need to pay. will need to pay my bills I'll use this pink another pink one down a bit because I do have to put my AM PM routine will go up there bills and we want something that says habits and meals Nothing that says habits or meals here. And then got the little fork and spoon, a knife. I'm going to put that there. And then I will open my reusable to put in the things that I need to add. So um, I need an AM routine and a PM routine. So I usually just put it on the Monday. Um, that way I don't waste stickers and I just assume it goes across. And meal meal plan you can use this and habits I don't have a lot of habit stickers and I've just ordered some new ones um, 
so they will be I'll use a reminder reminder so fine okay now I'm going to decorate with some of this these decorative boxes etc so I have four boxes one two one, <clears throat> five two three One, two, three, one, two, two, three. There we go. I'm going to do them at like where it says five o'clock, right kind of in the middle of the day. And I'm not going to stagger them because they're not together. So I'm just going to them at five o'clock so with the um redesign on the sterling ink i watched the video where she explained what the difference was because i hadn't what i hadn't used it last year the sterling ink and they she had put the dates or the times in the line rather than outside of the line so you can see here it's like the nine is maybe you can't i'll raise it up and see, show you so you see how like the numbers are in the line. Well, with the Hobbit each cousin, you have a line and the numbers are beside it. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure if I like them being in the line. I didn't think it would matter um, at all. Um, and I'm not sure as I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if I love it. Um, the numbers are also I think a little bit darker than the numbers in the Hobonichi Cousins. So that might be, um, I know that they had to darken them from last year because they were very, very light. Um, so they did, they did. Um, they're definitely darker now. But if you're not going by the times at all, they might be a little distracting. Um, let's see. So now I'm hesitant to put, so I've got these, as I said, I've got these kind of, um, additional, uh, deck out and uh, look at those, look at those little snowmen. They're so cute. Um, I'm hesitant to put them in because I kind of don't know what's going to be in here. Like, it's, it's going to be my planner, obviously. It's my main planner. Um, but for so long, using the <clears throat> Hobonichi Cousin, I was putting in my reading here, so I'd kind of a, kind of a smaller spot with which to put my, you know, things to do, what's happening, that sort of thing. Now I have all of this space, <laughs> which is great. Um... But I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate the things that I want to put into it. So um, if I'm going to be using this for my reading, which I am, um, and I'll talk more about this in future videos, um, I don't really need a lot of um, anything going in here that way. And then I've got all of these kind of huge blank pages back here to um, write gratitude, write um, to-do lists. Um, so I might be writing more to, what I'm thinking is I might write more to-do lists in this space. And that means that I won't have as much space for this kind of decorating. Um, which is totally fine. Um, and it might be that I add these as the week goes on, which is probably what I'm going to do. So I think that's it for my, Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I do want to write in this. This is the week of the first Jan to 
27 Jan. Um, this week, this week, um, don't you find that the week between, so I'm planning this, um, in the, on the 28th, um, the week between Christmas and New Year's is like a dead zone. Nobody knows what's happening. Nobody knows what's going on. Um, you know, you're eating weird things. You're sleeping at weird times. You're drinking more than you use, you know, you normally do. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm completely don't know what's happening. Um, and my Christmas isn't really happening until tomorrow when my family all gets together. So anyway, um, wanted to put that in. Again, I'm not going to do these until I fill out my goals for the month um, because these are going to be related to that. And I'm not going to fill out that because I don't know. Um, I did have one more thing I need to write in the workouts there. I do have a couple of workout stickers. These are, I got these from um, Planner Kate again, um, but they're the Julie's Plans uh, font, which I like for like really small letters. So there is my plan with me for the first week in my Sterling Ink comma planner. Um, let me know if you've got a common planner this year. I'd be interested to hear whether or not you are going down the kind of more minimalist journalist, minimalist, um, collage vibe, or are you, you know, sticking with the sticker thing? Are you just going pen and paper or pen and highlighter? Or are you doing a mix, which I think I probably will be. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more common planner, um, plan with me's and stationary, um, videos and planning videos, and, um, I'm going to be doing my 2023, uh, full, um, flip through coming up in a, com in an upcoming video. So if any of these are interested in interesting to you, please, uh, like subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.